Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> um, I have to tell you, I was laying in bed. I was drinking my first cup of coffee. Excuse my mess. I just got out of the shower. But anyway, I was reading and a knock on the door, nothing. And I was like, just this inch. And they started opening the door. I was like, just a second. I'm like, it was housekeeping. They didn't say housekeeping. They didn't knock. They're supposed to knock, or they usually knock like two times and yell out housekeeping. <gasps> I was like, oh my goodness. I mean, I, had, I was decent, but still that's not the point. I was like, oh my goodness, good thing I wasn't in the shower, which is like right by the door because I showed you the other day. Oh my goodness. I was... Okay, that irritated me. Seriously, I was like, that's not cool. And I was gonna have them come in and clean today and I was gonna skip out of here, but she came so early and so fast and like was coming in the door and I was just like, just give me towels and just, I wasn't even ready. I was like, oh my God, I've never had, I don't think I've had them just barge in like that before. Oh my goodness, that was crazy. But anyway, so I was like, well, maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow I'll just try to get around and get out of here a little earlier and go downstairs and sit and um, let them come in and clean. Not that the room is dirty, it's just I want, you know, the bed needs changed or made or I don't know, things wiped out, sink wiped out, you know. So I figure after a couple days I'll just, yeah, oh my goodness, I can't believe it. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna drink. I actually put creamer and sugar in my coffee. I never do that, so I'm, it's a treat for me today. Mm, it's pretty good. All right, I need to go put myself together a little bit. Oh my goodness, <laughs> has that ever happened to you? That the housekeeping just walks in like that? What do you do? Oh. Jason went to breakfast this morning down the lobby and let me sleep in just a little bit. And look, he brought back this bag. Um, it has oatmeal. Aww. It's got an apple, a spoon. Isn't that sweet? I love my man. Justin just texted me and I have to share it with you. Um, he just got notified that his law class that he was taking, he the one with the group where they had to do the group um, session together, he they got a 100 on the group thing that they had to do and then he finished that class with an A. <sighs> Another one done. And Timothy is, he is done with his class, but he, um, his teacher told them that even if they're done, if they came to class today, she was making them a homemade chocolate cake and they could have Coke with it. So he was like, yeah, I'm not going to miss that. So he went in today for homemade chocolate cake and a Coke in celebration. And she said if, um, they wanted to, if they were done, while they were there, they could help the students that weren't done. So he was looking forward to that too, because Tim really likes to help people too. So, oh, wrapping it up. That's so nice. Oh, it's so nice. Does reading make you tired? <laughs> it makes me so tired. <laughs> well, it doesn't help I'm laying in bed. But seriously? I love to read, but it makes me so tired. <laughs> well, it's it's gloomy out. Let me show you. Look at how gloomy it is and windy. See how those flags are blowing? It's not supposed to rain today, but I just looked and it's supposed to rain thunderstorms tomorrow and the next day. Yuck. Okay, I'm already to be whisked away to dinner <laughs> oh the sun's out a little bit but it's just really cloudy and the wind is crazy I can still see it blowing pretty good but 
I was gonna tell you that um, I have a, I've told you about her before, a friend of the family, and I've known her since I was nine. And we write letters back and forth, and she's like my mom. She is, she is my second mom. I love her so much. Anyway, when she gets something special in her life, she calls it her golden nugget. And she always says, the Lord gave me a golden nugget. And she calls us her golden nuggets from Texas. And oh, I just love her so much. But I just got a golden nugget. And I get golden nuggets every day. Melanie, thank you so much for giving me that sweet comment. All she wrote was my favorite family. And I, it just came to my mind, I thought, that's a golden nugget. Oh my goodness, thank you so much, Melanie. That just, that's precious. That is so precious. One simple, tiny little sentence can make somebody feel so good and can make somebody smile, you know? I get comments from you all the time on here and you all are my golden nuggets. And I was thinking about that and I thought I gotta tell you about it because you're my golden nugget from YouTube and I love it, I love it. I love being in touch with all of you. I love having like a one-on-one -on -one relationship is through um, Snapchat and Instagram and there is some going on here on YouTube too but not like Snapchat and Instagram. Oh. I love that. I love connecting and I love seeing your pictures too and learning about you too. Not just you learning about me. I want to learn about you too. I love that. But also I was thinking this month is my month. It's my month. It's May. My birthday is this month. Mother's Day is this month. And hello. My middle name is May, so it's definitely my month. But every month, every year, when I come into um, May, I tell the guys, I'm like, oh, this is my month. And they're like, oh, because they know I'm going to be extra bratty. Not that I am, I mean. Ding, where's my little halo? <laughs> uh, but anyway, if I get a little, you know, extra sassy or bratty or anything with them I'm like hey hey it's my month and they're like oh I'll have to I'm gonna try to get that on film for you how what the reaction is to the month of May with me it's pretty hysterical <laughs> but yeah it's my month oh I'm so excited all right you want me to tell you how old I'm gonna be it's really frightening oh my goodness I am going to be 40 44 oh, I'm almost to 50 oh my goodness I can't believe it yeah 44 I'm 43 oh, Jay hit 45 this year and he was like not nah. I mean he did good but you know he was like not real overly happy about it I'm like hey I'm I'm about right there to ya <laughs> He's like, you're still younger, a year younger than me. And I'm like, yeah, but seriously? <gasps> oh, so scary. Okay, we're in a creepy elevator. Are you creeped out? Yeah, yeah, I'm scared. So scary. It's really freaky. It's like a, it's like at a, like a killer movie. No, it could drop. Okay, we are headed out to, wow, that sun, right? Woo! We're headed out to a restaurant and it's called The Grill. I'll show you a picture of it when we pull in. It looks like an like a house sitting there, so I'm pretty excited to try it. But first, before we go, I have to show you this. This is Denny's and it's like an old cafe diner. Isn't that awesome? I want to eat there. Do you? Yeah, we're going to eat there this week. Too. It's so cool. Okay, this is the restaurant. It's called The Grill. Isn't that neat? It's like a big old farmhouse. This car sits outside of that restaurant. Isn't it awesome? We each got a salad. And this is hot bread that just came out with butter. Yum. I'm going to show you this. I think I need that spoon and fork in my life. 
<laughs> the mushroom Swiss chicken, mashed potatoes and gravy. What'd you get? A filet mignon with bacon and shrimp. And then mashed potatoes. Loaded mashed potatoes. Oh, wow. Okay, dinner was fantastic. Jason actually gave me a bite of his filet mignon. Oh, it was good. It was melting your mouth good. It was. It did. It. You took a bite and it just <clears throat> melted in your mouth. Oh my goodness, it was so good. And then my um, Swiss mushroom chicken, that was fantastic too. So... Okay, we are actually gonna head to Walmart and grab me something for lunch for tomorrow. and ready for housekeeping. Yes, yeah. It's like, I don't even think it's nine o'clock yet. Yeah, I got everything gathered. I got a list made. I showered, washed my hair. <laughs> I made the bed. I'm not gonna have him come in. I'm just gonna have him deliver stuff. Meh, seriously. So how's your morning going? I hope it's going good. How's your week going? Um, it is going to be rainy here today. Boo! And it's looking cloudy and dark. Let me show you. Gloomy. It was supposed to thunderstorm today, so we'll see. But it's supposed to be warm. I hope it's done by the time we go out for dinner tonight. That'd be nice. I want to take a second and I want to say hello to all my new subscribers. My numbers seem to just be jumping this week. Well, my niece, Shauna, hi Shauna, give McKinley a kiss for me. Um, she gave me a mention. Um, there, Her husband, which is my nephew-in-law, um, he is in the Marine um, the Marines he they're serving out in California and um, <clears throat> so she said that the other day um, somebody on the they have a um, Camp Pendleton wives group and somebody had um, mentioned you know who what youtubers do you watch and she mentioned me and my channel and I was like Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Shauna. That helps get the channel name out and gets my videos out. And so, yeah, definitely thank you, Shauna. That was so sweet. So, if any of you are here from Camp Pendleton, hello, and let me know below. I would love to see who all is here from camp, from the Marines. Thank you so much for your service. I know your spouses serve, but you serve too. And thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, side note, my husband served in the Army for quite a few years, so we know what the military life is like. We weren't full time, but we still know a good portion of what it's like. So thank you so much for your service. That just means so much to me. But yeah, I would love to see who all's from Camp Pendleton or from the Marines. That would be awesome if you joined us and just became a part of this community. So yes. Okay, housekeeping just left. And she said what they do here, um, they come through the rooms first to see who all wants like towels, their beds made, floors vacuumed. Then they come through later on and then they do it that way. That is so different to me. I was wondering why they came so early because I oh because you don't have to check out until you know later but they always come about nine o'clock in the morning and that's why I was like wow this is that's the only hotel I've ever been in that ever did that before so now that I know <laughs> what's going on um I told her yeah definitely come back in to vacuum that would be great this is what I ended up grabbing for lunch for today but this thing is huge so I might go over for two lunches 
but it's a Thai mango chicken salad. Doesn't that look good? It looks like it's got even little, little noodles, Asian, the little, let me see, what's it say? Romaine, grilled chicken, mango, red peppers, rice noodles, peanuts, and Thai peanut dressing. Okay, um, I actually, I don't have a fork. So I'm gonna run downstairs and grab a fork, but I gotta find what happened. Oh, there they are. Couldn't find my flip flops. Forgot it, put them in a different area. Okay, let's go grab a fork. Ooh, we have to go in the creepy elephant. Okay, we grabbed Coca-Cola too yesterday because here it's like $2.50 or something like that for one bottle of it. It's crazy. They had a fork and some napkins. So I grabbed a fork and napkins. So now we're headed back up to the room. I'm gonna eat lunch, I'm hungry, and have a Coke. Okay, um, I just took a couple bites of the salad to try it. The salad dressing is a thicker salad dressing. You can definitely tell there's peanut butter in it. And I'm thinking like sriracha or something. It's got a little bit of a kick to it, but it's not that bad. Cause I don't like real hot. But mixed with the sweet mango, it's good. Yeah, I would definitely get it again. It's good. But um, if you don't like things that are a little bit spicy, then steer clear of it. But um, it's not that bad. I like it. It's good. And I love mango and peanuts and peanut butter. So, Okay, me and Jason are off to, it's called JL's Barbecue. JL's Barbecue. Do you want to say hi? Hello. How are you? <laughs> Did you have a good day? Yes. Long, busy. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, yeah, we're going to try it. It's actually a local restaurant, so we want to try the local restaurants, you know, because you can always get chains pretty much anywhere. So we're going to do that. It's a barbecue place, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. I'll let you know what we think about it. Okay. Um, that was like a cafeteria style restaurant so you walk in you grab a tray and then you get your pop and you you know slide it all the way down and then they um, ask you what you want and me and Jay I mean we didn't know and they didn't help at all and um, we were like we'll just have the two meat what was it the two, it meat, two meat platter platter and oh my gosh they took this plate and they just started literally I'll insert the picture they literally piled that food on top of the plates, on top of each other. It was disgusting. As soon as I see him doing it, and he was packing it on with his hands. Um, his hands had plastic gloves on, but still, as soon as I seen him doing that, I looked at Jay and I was like, ew, ew, I couldn't, that right there turned me off from it. And then none of their stuff had barbecue sauce on it. What was that? Well, I was gonna say, they piled the potato wedges on and packed them down. Then they put your green beans on top of your potato wedges. Then they put your pulled pork on top of that. And then little smokies on top of that. It was all like one big runny mess. Yeah, it was really gross. It was disgusting. But um, the nothing had barbecue sauce on it. You went to a, a little bar type area and you picked out your sauces, what you wanted on your... Um, you know to dip your meat into everything tasted well the pork tasted like it was just salty and everything just tasted boiled like it was boiled the little smokies because they had bologna i'm like um no i'm not having bologna um and the little smokies those were boiled and i told jay said as you bit into a little smoky you could the texture was the water from them being overboiled. Oh my goodness, I couldn't do it. I just ate a couple bites and I sat back and I'm like, I'm good. 
<laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> and the green beans were real bland, yeah. weren't they? There was like no... They were southern style and they had ham and stuff in them, but they were just bleh. Yeah, they were really bland. So anyway, that is a no. Oh my goodness, that restaurant was bad. And they had four, they have four out of five stars online. So we figured that we'd give it a try, but oh well. Um, we ate at a lot of good restaurants here so far though, so it's not that big of a deal. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna end these. I have two days going and I will see you in the next video. I believe it'll be Thursday. I'll see you. Have a great day. Bye.